You know, I'm suspicious I actually forgot to kill one of the mimics back in uh, the other place. I'll have to do that at some point. Because I'm just so excited about getting the hat, I completely forgot there's another mimic. I should kill him. Not that it really matters now. Actually, yeah, why do I care? I've got the hat. I don't need to kill one of the mimics like I usually do. <laughs> so why do I care? I have this hat! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Right then. Uh... What's next on the list of things to do? I'd have thought uh, Nito. Well, you just want to jump straight into it? Okay, sure. Let's go and kill Nito. 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 I was just about to say, let me just walk back to Majula. <laughs> uh... Face it, Karen. You love it, really. I love my time being wasted. Oh, look how empty Firelink is. I'm gonna go talk to Anastasia. Oh, yeah, you revived her, did you? Yeah. Because I'm a good little boy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Very large ember down in, uh. What do you call it? The other place. New Londo. New Londo. Very large ember. I always get it at this point. Okay. I don't know why I almost sound like Yogi there. I always get it at this point. A little bit. Uh, okay. Important thing to uh, uh, talk about now. Are we going dark side or are we going fire side? I believe fire side is less effort. Okay. Yeah, don't you have to manage so to kill the kings without doing the whole lord? Va yeah, I can't be asked. <laughs> Interesting law option can't be asked from an asked perspective option. I'm just talking to the amazing chest, also known as Guinevere. All praise the roundness and the fullness and the plumpness and the rumpness. And this any more this does remind me so much of uh, my my running joke in that I developed when I was watching Stargate. All ten bloody seasons of Stargate, which I never need to watch again. Um, <laughs> I came up with a running joke because in every other episode they'd be like, "Oh, here's a scene where here's the old leader." I can never figure out how to say that. Here's the guy, and he's like always oh, looking all menacing on a throne with these guards around him. And I'm like, "What are these these like evil alien overlords? What do they do all day? They're just sat in these thrones looking grumpy. There's no like." anything else in the room other than their guards and their throne and then someone always run in and go lord watch your face this happened and they and they look so fucking surprised that something has actually happened like oh jeez christ what 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 do i do um just go, just go kill them or something whatever <laughs> i'm i'm busy moping mm. <laughs> just brooding eternally and it just it just it just it bothered me and then i found it really funny that it would happen every other episode <laughs> Uh, I'm it's sure. Amazing. I'm sure that interested right. you greatly. I haven't got a clue as to what you're talking about. I was never really interested in Stargate to begin with, so. Uh, you don't need yeah. to be. I thought the first, like, yeah. I thought it was fun at first. I forgot this fire. Oh no, I need to kill Lotrek if I want to use this fire again. Don't I? Oh, I can't be asked. Um, murder him. Behead his face. I probably would have killed him uh, when he was here earlier, if I'd remember. <laughs> I forgot Leonard Nimoy gets very overly excited when you turn up with the Lord Vessel. <laughs> and then he does his Spudnik impression. Beep. 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 Ah, uh, fun. Uh. All the fun you can have with a Spudnik. You know, this this is one of those weird Dark Souls things. It's like, hooray, you beat a hard boss, let me reward you by getting you eaten by a weird cosmic serpent thing. <laughs> this this is the personality, I think, uh, Dark Souls 2 was often lacking, is just, okay, why did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then his whiskers always completely bug out when he's down here. <laughs> his big tentacly whiskers. He's so creepy looking. He's so creepy. <laughs> Look at his little face. Zubu zubu. 
Aren't you going to scare children? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant to do, was uh, feed him stuff. I might be meaning to Souls? No, I've been meaning to feed... Yak, 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 yak. I've been meaning to feed him all my rusty coins and things. Uh. I was so happy when I finally learned that's what those are for. Is just you just give them to him and like, oh, have some money. So, a delicate incantation. So I'm currently uh, stood on a giant mound of drowned people. Yes. Oh, this is when I remember that New Londo kind of has a lot of summoning problems. <laughs> Yeah. And I need to spend my points or I lose them like an Egypt. <laughs> oh man. He's an Egypt. Egypt, that's for sure. You know, I kind of think that we should just go kill Sif now, and then we can come back here afterwards and just, you know. But if you get the ember, you could do more damage. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose, if you're not going to go down any of the other routes. Uh, whatever. I'm down here, I'm waiting. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is the most intense of play sessions. Yes, 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 yes. Firelink Shrine, here we come. Yeah, I mean, I understand that it might be a bit like, let's go through this area, grab a thing, and then just come back again later. And also, this is a place... Should we even bother trying to summon each other in New Londo? Because it never seemed to work back in the day. Uh, well, you can't. Until you, uh, uh release the floodgate. Oh yeah, we have to release the Kraken, and then we can, uh, actually, yes. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Mm so actually, yeah, me being down here isn't actually very helpful, is it? Have you already done this place by chance? I may have already done this place. Da, 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 da. I'm just trying to see what uh, what new armor I can get away with. Uh, I'm only wearing Havels and... wear mode set, Kieran! <laughs> nah, I'm only I wearing... I can wear Ornsteins, and we can be a fine pair of fools. <laughs> yes, no. Um, I'm only wearing uh, Havel stuff until I can be bothered to upgrade all the uh, the giant set, which I like. Ah, uh, yes, the giant set. Well, You're a very strange dex character, aren't you? Don't think of me as a dex character, think of me as uh, however the hell I play this game. Sure, yeah, that, 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 that'll, that'll do, yeah, that's close <laughs> enough. Uh, oh. Fat rolling, I'm so sad. Uh, I suppose the thing to ask would be, once you've got on your ember and powered your weapon up a bit, what's next for the dynamic duo? Well, that's why I did first say Nito, and I went, oh, wait a minute, we could... Oh. <laughs> I usually do Nito as the first lord to go down. Yeah. And it's also a very angry area for some people, so, uh... Uh, uh haven't done Pimwheel yet, have we? No. That won't be the angry part, but... No. So I guess, I guess we'll just do all that one. Lovely. Yup. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. He, sound, he sounds so enthused. Lots, lots of yeah. than... <laughs> I'm anyway, yes. sat in the, yeah. the darkroom tomb and I'm just spitting my camera around and you know all those like mini statues <laughs> in the wall. Do you really have nothing else you can be doing? Uh, other than killing bosses, not really. <laughs> well, whose fault was that? 25 hours. <laughs> by now. Okay, we can talk about the fact that this bloody... Did I actually... Did I come down and get the firekeepers? No, I didn't. Oh, I should get that. We could talk about the fact that this place is one of those places you could easily wander into, having started the game, and just get horribly mauled. Like, I oh, did. It was the first area I went to. 
Yeah, it's slightly more out of the way than the graveyard, at least, but... Uh... Here, here was my thing, though. I took one look at the graveyard, scored the skeletons, and was like, yeah, I ain't going down there. So I decided to go all the way down to uh, New Lonto, saw some ghosts, and was like, yeah, I can take on some ghosts. Found out I couldn't actually attack the ghosts at all. Wondered why that was the case, like in Egypt. Yeah, those were dark times. Long, long ago, when Callum was a noob. <laughs> I'm imagining like a Dark Souls intro, where it's like, the land was grey with mist and arch trees, and look, there goes Callum running around. <laughs> How do shields work? <laughs> oh, poor innocent Callum, easily forgotten. <laughs> That's the twist, you are the pygmy. Um... I am the pygmy. <laughs> you are the progenitor. Oh god! You know I wouldn't be surprised if I was. You know what? I'm gonna go. Ki I'm gonna go kill Priscilla while you're fucking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, 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 I'm trying to got, suggest got, things for you to be doing. Yeah. I've got nothing else to do, and she's just kind of there, and she doesn't like. Yeah, she's there, just asking to be stabbed in the face with this violin. Well, you know, she's she's a horrific abomination. Why she not? must die. <laughs> I apologise to anybody who uh, makes uh, their waifu, but uh, fuck uh, da, 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 da. Just to make it more insulting, I'm going to kill her with my least useful weapon. The bandit knife? Maybe it is the bandit knife. Maybe. It's plus ten. For no reason whatsoever. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh. This is an unusually long area with no bonfires in New Londo. I mean, you unlock those shortcuts. It have any. Well, it doesn't have any bonfires. Yeah. No, it's the only zone in which it has. It. Well, okay, f uh, Valley of the Drakes doesn't have any. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Tea. Basically, it eases the pain. It's like places that Gwyn didn't like have access to are places where there are no bonfires. Oh, that's interesting, I mean, if you consider that New Londo was flooded, it's hardly uh, a place where well. you can get a bonfire. In. Oh, I wonder if that's one of those happy coincidences, or one of the many, many, many ways in which they put s excessive amounts of thought into this bloody game. Yeah, I mean, it could just be nothing. And then there's Dark Souls 2, where there's a smelter demon. <laughs> well, yeah, Dark Souls 2 kind of paints Gwyn as a more bastard. A bigger bastard than he is. <laughs> that's that's going to say, yes, um, yes. He, had, he didn't need much help, because he seemed like a bastard if you really look into it. <laughs> yeah, he really is a bastard, isn't he? Fuck Gwyn! <laughs> Slayer just has a single tear. A single Estus tear. Yeah. Sunny D tear. No! You rolled the wrong way, you idiot! Oh, now I'm toxic. <laughs> Uh, See, that's why I've been trying to encourage you to go places and do things, is you'll occasionally go, oh, and it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's not funny for me. That's why it's funny for me. <laughs> you, It's like you and your, oh, I'm sorry you're getting invaded, but I won't tell you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> You said to go, so I left. <laughs> go, go. It's like a blind person says, okay, I'm just going to cross this road now, and you don't mention the, the boss, look out for the... Oh, okay. You're not respecting my disability, the disability of being Kieran. Look, I'm not your guide dog, okay? <laughs> woof woof, motherfucker. Uh, I may be a guide oh. dog, but I'm not a guide dog. Oh god, I believe that my transient curse may run out. Oh... You see, this is where I point out that me having my uh, ghost dagger is really useful. 
In fact, if you have any weapons with Divine on, it's really quite useful. Well, there are so many transient curses you pick up just from being in this zone. That, uh... Yeah, it's true, but if, if it runs out in an inopportune moment, yeah, you're kind that's of true, that's true. screwing yourself. Okay. There is a little visual cue when you have the curse effect. Yes, yes. I tend to forget to look out for that. Oh no, the only time these ghosts get annoying is when they do the whole uh, bug from Blight Town thing where they start just going through the walls from all angles. And... But at least these are ghosts, at least that's kind of understandable why they can go through walls. As opposed to the bugs just rubbing their balls on your face. And... Oh, Jeremiah's stuff has appeared. So maybe you did have to go through it again to get the stuff. Hmm, strange. Time for me to look silly! <laughs> I still remember vividly. We got invaded somewhere one time during one of our co op runs. The co op run where I was just sticking with the Xanthaus crown religiously for most of it. And yeah. uh, I remember distinctly we got invaded, and I can't remember if we won or not, whatever. But after we'd been invaded, the guy sent me a message. And all it said, I remember, you know, usually when you get a message from someone who invades you, you're like, oh no, it's probably going to be some racial slur or whatever. Because <laughs> this is the internet, people do that. And I opened it up, but all it said was, nice hat. <laughs> uh... I remember that, actually, yeah. <laughs> How do you forget that story? That's a great story. Oh, man. I was just so filled with, like, oh no, what a horrible thing has this person sent me. But then it's I like remember, the time, yeah. It's like the time that we got invaded by that guy up mm -hmm. at uh, the Sunlight Altar, do you remember that? Oh. He was wearing the uh, the robes, and all he had on him was the dagger, and he, all he did was roll around us and backstab us to death. That he one sent guy. Him, that he one... sent us a message, and he was like, yeah. I am death. Destroy the world. <laughs> I think I was people, trying to come up with some uh, people, sarcastic responses. Yeah, people can be truly fantastic in this game. That's the thing about Dark Souls is... Just like the game, you'll get super frustrated at times and then have those moments of super satisfaction. Just like that, there's the two sides to the community. There's the horrible, vicious, toxic, like, super pro whatever, you do anything other than me and you, you suck at noobishness side of the community. <laughs> you uh, are made of stupid. You suck at being a noob. Yes, that's true noobishness. But um but on top of that there's also the just astonishingly wonderful people who love the game, are always finding new things to make the game seem that bit that bit more magical. You know. And to something as simple as having a fight with a guy. I love when when I've, you know, when invasion... Uh, someone invaded me at least once. I beat them. And then a minute later I got a message. And it just said, GG. Even though I'd beaten him after he'd invaded me. He said, GG. I'm like, that's nice of you. You know? That makes me feel good inside. Your souls help. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh... And now this is the point where I get lost in New Londo, because there's like two corridors that confuse me. Yeah. I think I've only ever been messaged by one guy who actually said an angry thing towards me. <laughs> I can't even remember what the angry thing was, but I found it very amusing at the time. Well, if it was one of those people who just goes from zero to outraged, that seemed to populate the internet, then it was I, I, I get the impression that he was having a very bad time of invading people. That's the thing, I feel no sympathy if your invasions are going badly. Yeah. Hmm. If you're, oh, 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 I died. That's called <laughs> trying to press the button while I'm putting my tea down. Oh. <laughs> you see, this is why you don't have tea while playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls punishes you for taking liquids. Stop being British, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs>